Did you know that the key to true happiness lies not in the pursuit of future desires, but in the ability to embrace the present moment? In a world where we're constantly bombarded with the pressure to achieve more, acquire more, and be more, it's easy to overlook the incredible power of simply being here, right now. If you want to unlock a deeper sense of contentment and fulfillment, you need to learn how to let go of unrealized desires and discover the beauty that exists in the now. Many of us fall into the trap of believing that happiness is just around the corner, that we'll feel complete once we land that dream job, travel to that exotic destination, or find the perfect relationship. But the best insights on mindfulness reveal that true joy stems from our ability to cultivate awareness and gratitude in our everyday lives. Avoid this common mistake, chasing after desires that may never be realized can lead to frustration and discontentment. Instead, let's explore how shifting our focus to the present can liberate us and open our hearts to the abundance already surrounding us. Join me as we delve into the transformative power of living in the present moment, letting go of past regrets, and embracing a life rich with gratitude and awareness. Together, we'll discover how to free ourselves from the chains of unrealized desires and unlock the profound joy that exists right here, right now. Number one, the power of living in the present moment. Imagine waking up, stepping outside and really taking in the fresh morning air, the sunlight casting warm, golden light over everything it touches. It feels like a moment just for you. When we think about how good it feels to be present, it's easy to wish every day started with that kind of clarity and peace. We all know moments like this, when time seems to slow down, and it's as if we're right where we're meant to be. It's not that life becomes perfect, but that we're perfectly attuned to it, feeling its rhythm instead of getting lost in yesterday's noise or tomorrow's unknowns. But here's where it gets interesting. This sense of presence isn't just a happy accident that visits once in a while. Being present is a skill we can actually develop. Think about it. Most of our day is spent bouncing between what we regret from yesterday or worrying about what might happen tomorrow. Our minds pull us away from here and now, placing us in states that aren't even real, and we start to feel trapped, as if we're at the mercy of our own thoughts. But what if we could step off that merry-go-round and find peace right here, right now? This ability to live in the present isn't just wishful thinking, it's an ancient wisdom embraced by some of the world's greatest thinkers. Living in the moment is the practice of directing our awareness away from the regrets of the past and the anxieties of the future. We start to realize that we have more control than we thought over where we focus our energy. When we let go of what's behind and stop fretting over what's to come, we unlock the freedom to fully engage with what's happening right now, allowing us to build meaningful connections, find joy in small moments, and experience a deeper level of life satisfaction. Remember those days when you were younger and time just seemed to stretch endlessly. Summer days that felt like they could go on forever or those late night conversations that didn't seem to have an end point. As we get older, time feels like it speeds up and suddenly we're looking back and realizing that entire years have flown by in the blink of an eye. Part of us misses that simplicity, that ease. The truth is, those moments of pure presence we felt back then aren't lost forever. They're just harder to find because we're so weighed down by all the layers of thoughts and worries that pile up over the years. But they're still accessible if we learn to strip away those layers, returning to the simplicity of living in the now. Number two, letting go of past regrets and future worries. Isn't it incredible how much lighter we feel when we can let go of things that weigh us down? Imagine the freedom of walking through life without being held back by things we can't change or worries about things that haven't happened yet. Think of the times when we've felt most alive. 
They weren't times spent lost in regret or tangled in worry. They were moments when we felt at ease, free from that invisible burden. For a moment, just imagine what it would feel like to move through life with that sense of openness. It sounds easy, right? But letting go of past regrets and future worries is a real challenge because our minds naturally cling to them. We've all experienced moments we wish we could redo, things we said or didn't say, choices we made, paths we didn't take. And then there's that constant hum of what ifs about the future. We worry about our careers, our relationships, our health. The irony is that this mental time traveling takes away from our ability to live fully. Stoic philosophers taught that our focus should be on what we can control, right here in the present. Their idea wasn't to ignore the past or the future, but to acknowledge them and let them be, without allowing them to dominate our thoughts. Letting go of regrets doesn't mean we forget what happened. It means we no longer allow those moments to control us. And releasing our worries about the future isn't about ignoring responsibility, but accepting that worrying alone won't change anything. Instead, we prepare and then allow ourselves to step back into the present, the only place where real action happens. By freeing ourselves from these mental traps, we regain the ability to act meaningfully in the present, whether it's choosing to build stronger relationships, pursue our goals, or simply enjoy life more fully. If we think back, many of us carry memories of things we wish we could change, a missed opportunity, an unsaid goodbye, a dream set aside. And then there's that familiar ache of wondering, what if? What if we had done things differently? It's natural to feel this way because regrets are part of the human experience. They remind us of our growth, of roads we didn't take, but we don't have to live there. Those moments are snapshots, frozen in time, while we are here, moving forward. Every day we spend reliving them is a day we lose out on what's right in front of us. What if today were the day you chose to release just one regret or even one small worry about the future? How might that open up new possibilities for you? How would it feel to truly be in the present, unhindered by these invisible weights? What would you make space for if you let them go? Imagine the life waiting on the other side of that choice, one where you're free to embrace the unknown without fear, where you live with a sense of lightness, prepared to welcome each moment as it comes. Number three, transforming scarcity into gratitude. Think about the feeling of genuine gratitude. It's like warmth that spreads from the inside, a quiet joy that fills us up. Moments when we can look around and appreciate what we have, instead of focusing on what we lack, are often the moments we feel most connected to ourselves and others. We've all felt that happiness when we realize just how much we already have and how far we've come. Life has a way of surprising us when we're open to it, filling our days with little joys that make a difference. Imagine holding on to that feeling, using it as a guide. Gratitude, however, isn't just a fleeting feeling, it's a mindset, one that can transform the way we see our lives and the world around us. It's easy to focus on what we don't have, our culture even encourages it. With endless comparisons and advertisements constantly telling us we need more to be happy. But practicing gratitude shifts our focus. Instead of seeing the world through a lens of scarcity, what we lack or haven't achieved yet, we start to see abundance. We start to realize that we already have so much and that happiness isn't something we need to chase, it's something we can cultivate within ourselves. This doesn't mean we ignore our ambitions, but we pursue them from a place of contentment rather than deficiency. Think back to times when you didn't have as much, yet somehow you made it work. Maybe it was a time when you lived on a tight budget or had to be creative with what you had. It's funny how looking back, those times are often some of our fondest memories. 
we realize that happiness didn't depend on having everything it came from appreciating the little things and making the most of what we had. Those moments remind us that even in simplicity, there's joy. Sometimes we find that the less we have, the more clearly we can see what truly matters. What if we could carry that same gratitude with us today, no matter how complex life gets? Imagine if, instead of wanting more, we could focus on enjoying what's already here. How would that change the way we approach our relationships, our goals, even our daily routines? What if, by transforming our scarcity mindset into gratitude, we opened ourselves up to more happiness than we ever thought possible? There's a whole world of fulfillment waiting when we shift our perspective. So what might gratitude unlock for you? Number four, embracing freedom from unrealized desires. Have you ever found yourself daydreaming about what could be? Perhaps it's that perfect job, the ideal relationship, or that dream vacation. The allure of unrealized desires can be intoxicating, right? We often chase these elusive goals, thinking that fulfillment lies just out of reach. It's like standing on the edge of a cliff, staring into the abyss of what we want but don't have. Yet what if I told you that true freedom doesn't come from the fulfillment of these desires, but rather from the ability to let them go? Imagine walking through life unencumbered by the weight of unfulfilled dreams, liberated from the need for validation or achievement. In our fast-paced world, the pressure to succeed and keep up with societal expectations can create an endless cycle of longing. We often measure our worth against others, scrolling through social media feeds filled with curated highlights that can make us feel inadequate. Yet embracing freedom from unrealized desires means recognizing that our self-worth isn't contingent on what we lack, but on who we are. When we learn to appreciate our current state of being, we liberate ourselves from the chains of comparison and desire. So, how do we begin to embrace this freedom? The first step is awareness. Recognizing the desires that occupy our thoughts is crucial. Are they rooted in genuine aspirations, or are they products of external pressures and societal norms? Often, we chase desires that have been implanted in us by culture, ideas of success, beauty, or happiness that may not align with our true selves. By examining our motivations, we can begin to disentangle ourselves from desires that do not serve our well-being. Embracing freedom from unrealized desires involves a shift in mindset. Instead of fixating on what we don't have, we must practice mindfulness, bringing our attention back to the present moment. Mindfulness invites us to engage with our current experiences fully, acknowledging our feelings without judgment. It encourages us to find joy in the ordinary, appreciating what is, instead of longing for what could be. Imagine standing in your kitchen, the smell of fresh coffee wafting through the air. Instead of thinking about your plans for the day, or the things you didn't accomplish yesterday, what if you allowed yourself to savor that moment? The warmth of the cup in your hands, the sound of the coffee brewing, the sunlight filtering through the window. These are the moments that ground us in the present, where true fulfillment resides. Moreover, embracing this freedom often requires letting go of the idea of perfection. We live in a world that glorifies achievement, and the fear of failure can paralyze us. However, freedom lies in acknowledging that it's okay to have unmet desires. It's okay to not have everything figured out. By embracing our imperfections, we open ourselves to new experiences and opportunities that we might have otherwise missed. Let's take a moment to reflect on our own journeys. Think back to a time when you were fixated on a desire. Maybe it was a job promotion, a romantic relationship, or a personal goal. At that moment, it felt like that desire was all-consuming, right? The excitement of what could be was exhilarating. 
but when it didn't come to fruition, the disappointment was palpable. Now think about where you are today. Have those unmet desires shaped you? Perhaps they led you to discover new passions or paths you never would have considered otherwise. Often, the journeys we take, filled with twists and turns, are far more rewarding than the destinations we initially set out to reach. Each unrealized desire is a stepping stone, teaching us resilience, adaptability, and the importance of living in the moment. Reflecting on these experiences can also elicit a sense of gratitude. We may have yearned for certain things, but perhaps the absence of those desires opened doors to opportunities that align more closely with our authentic selves. The people we meet along the way, the lessons we learn, and the strength we develop in the face of adversity, all of these contribute to a richer, more fulfilling life. So, what if we began to view our unrealized desires as invitations to explore new possibilities? How would our lives change if we approached each day with a sense of curiosity instead of longing? Instead of asking ourselves, what do I wish I had? Let's ask, what can I create with what I have? This shift in perspective can lead us to discover hidden talents, forge new connections, and ultimately find fulfillment in unexpected places. Freedom from unrealized desires is about finding joy in the journey rather than fixating on the destination. It's about living authentically and allowing ourselves to be present, celebrating our uniqueness and embracing the imperfect beauty of life. Number five, discovering contentment in the now. Have you ever paused to truly appreciate the present moment? The sound of laughter echoing around you, the warmth of the sun on your skin, or the simple pleasure of a deep breath. It's often in these fleeting instances that we find a profound sense of contentment. In a world that constantly pulls us in different directions, distracting us with future ambitions or past regrets, discovering contentment in the now becomes a radical act of self-love. Imagine living each day fully present, allowing yourself to experience joy, peace and fulfillment in the simplest moments. This journey toward contentment starts with a shift in perspective. We often associate happiness with future events or achievements. I'll be happy when I get that promotion or I'll feel fulfilled when I buy my dream house. Yet, this outlook can lead to a never-ending chase for external validation. Contentment, however, invites us to find joy in what is happening right now, creating a sense of peace that is independent of our circumstances. But how do we cultivate this sense of contentment? The first step is mindfulness, an intentional practice that brings our awareness back to the present moment. Mindfulness encourages us to engage our senses fully, notice the taste of your food, feel the texture of the fabric against your skin, listen to the sounds around you. By anchoring ourselves in the present, we can begin to appreciate life's little pleasures that often go unnoticed. Practicing mindfulness isn't just about meditation or yoga, it can be woven into our daily routines. For example, while washing dishes, rather than letting our minds wander to the to-do list ahead, we can focus on the warmth of the water, the movement of our hands, and the satisfaction of completing a task. These moments of presence help us cultivate a deeper sense of appreciation for our lives. Another essential aspect of discovering contentment lies in gratitude. When we consciously acknowledge and appreciate what we have in the present, we shift our focus away from what's lacking in our lives. Research shows that practicing gratitude can lead to increased feelings of happiness and satisfaction. It's about making a habit of reflecting on what brings us joy, whether it's a supportive friend, a comfortable home, or a moment of peace during a busy day. Let's also consider the role of acceptance in our journey toward contentment. Accepting our current circumstances, regardless of how imperfect they may be, allows us to cultivate peace within ourselves, 
It's about relinquishing the need to control every aspect of our lives and recognizing that life is an ever-changing landscape. Acceptance doesn't mean we stop striving for our goals, rather, it means we find peace in the process. Take a moment to look back on your life. Can you recall times when you felt truly content? Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday spent with loved ones, a walk in nature where you felt completely at peace, or a quiet evening spent reading a good book. Those moments are treasures, and they often remind us that contentment is not found in grand achievements, but in the simplicity of life. Think about how often we let the busyness of life distract us from those moments of contentment. We might rush through dinner with family, distracted by our phones, or push through a weekend filled with obligations, only to realize we miss the chance to savor the present. When we reflect on these experiences, we can learn to prioritize what truly matters. Imagine being able to relive those moments, fully present and aware, taking in every detail. What would it feel like to let go of distractions and immerse yourself completely in the here and now? Nostalgia for those joyful instances can serve as a reminder to embrace similar moments in the future, creating space for contentment in our daily lives. What if we approached each day with a sense of curiosity? Instead of viewing life through the lens of what needs to be accomplished, we can ask ourselves, what can I discover today? As we wrap up this journey into the power of living in the present moment, I encourage you to reflect on how often you find yourself chasing after desires that may never come to fruition. Instead of allowing those unrealized hopes to overshadow your current blessings, embrace the freedom that comes from grounding yourself in the now. Remember, every moment offers a chance to cultivate gratitude, appreciate your surroundings, and savor life's simple pleasures. Drop a hundred if you've made it this far. This shows that you're among the rare few who are committed to taking charge of their life. If you're serious about transforming your mindset and discovering the joy that comes from mindfulness, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Your journey towards contentment starts here, and we're excited to support you every step of the way.